topsoil, nature's gift to us. It exists only upon a small favored fraction of the Earth's surface, and it averages a depth of only six inches. Your life depends upon these six vital inches. It is alive, it can be injured, and it can die. What is soil? What is soil? <laughs> Good question. Soil is where food begins. Soil is the foundation of life. There are more organisms in a teaspoon of soil than there are stars in the sky. Soil makes death and life two sides of the same coin. We have gone into a very dangerous path by choosing the life we wanted, the life of the plant, and finding chemical entrants that could just kill the rest of the life in the field. We have now sucked all the life out of the soil. And you know, all life on Earth is dependent on six inches of topsoil. If we kill off all our soil, we're, we're done for. That topsoil has been washed away by water, or it has been blown away by wind. Everything has a price. That model is not going to be the model for the, for the future. The promise of regenerative agriculture is to grow in a way that will protect the ability for the next generation. It's really about making sure that we reintroduce the cycle of life. Microbes break down this plant material and build their own cells. Agriculture can provide a lot more than just food and fiber. Soil has the ability to sequester CO2 that's in the atmosphere. Soil and life have evolved together. There is no life without soil. There is no soil without life. We should really have a soil-centric revolution. We have to have the market triggers, the policy triggers, that will benefit farmers in the way that they will engage. I don't think we have much options on business as usual. We are talking here about the future of humankind.